Minister for Trade, Commerce and Industry and Yangor Salsia MP Richard Maru was with board chairman of the Borom General Hospital, Alan Bird, at the media conference this morning. Mr. Bird explained that the national government gave Borom 2 million kina for maintenance of its old infrastructure. The funds were placed in the custody of the East Sipic Provincial Administration. Mr. Bird said the hospital board authorized the use of part of these funds to buy a new X-ray machine. But unknown to them, he said over 1.2 million kina was paid to a contractor under the pretext of doing maintenance work on one of the toilets at the hospital. The thing I find incredible is that at no point did anyone receive any authorization from anybody in a position of authority to expend these funds. Certainly, no one from the hospital authorized the use of these funds. That decision was taken in secrecy, in some hidden place, within the provincial administration. He said the hospital board can only award contracts up to a maximum of 500,000 kina. Mr. Bird said he tried to get answers from the provincial administration as to why the payment was cleared through the banking system without prior checks with the hospital acting CEO or the board chairman. We wrote a letter to the acting administrator to ask him to explain, and a copy of that letter is provided for you, what happened to these funds. Uh, to date, we have not received a response from the acting provincial administrator. Mr. Maru said someone in the provincial treasury cleared and released the payments to the so-called contractor. He described this as a crime syndicate at work. It's people with self-interest like this and, and thieves that have stifled the development of our province for the last 40 years. If we make a start by cleaning the province now, by investigating and bringing to justice those involved in stealing millions and millions of our provincial government funds, Mr. Maru said he will work with authorities to ensure those implicated will be brought to justice. All evidences have been provided to the police. Investigations will take about four to six weeks. Delhi Bagu, National, MTV News.